Guys, stop doing what you're doing right now. Listen to Horcrux for just a moment. Go get this ship right now. It is absolutely insane. I wish I knew about it when I started Lost Ark. It would have made my life so much easier. Before we dive on in, today's video is sponsored by AoeAH.com. These guys have some of the lowest prices for in-game currency and items of practically any game you can imagine. Link is down in the description below. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so what ship am I even talking about? It's this one right over here. It's Ibrand's Wound or the Ghost Ship, however you want to refer to it as. No, it is not the fastest ship. That is for a stray. And you can ask any woman the faster doesn't necessarily mean better, okay? Now, I have not attained this ship myself, so I want to toss up on the screen what it will look like in a couple weeks. So why do you even want this ship? Well, it gives you resistances to dead water and also the sandstorms. How many times have you been on autopilot, going to an island, waiting on a ghost ship, waiting on an island to spawn, and you go get some chips, you go get a drink, you come back, and you're fucking dead, okay? The island's about to spawn in five minutes, you have to go all the way back to the dock, repair your piece of shit ship, and then sail back out. And by the time you get there, well, the island's gone, and now you're stuck waiting two more hours it's really frustrating well with this ship you will never have to worry about that pretty much ever again so how do you even get this ship well it is time gated but we are able to shave off a lot of the time gation behind this typically it should take you two entire months to get this ship well we're going to shave a lot of that off so instead of taking two months it's only going to take us two weeks and here's how we're going to do it so when you get to 302 island level low 50 you know, however you want to refer to it as you'll unlock una's task now in Una's task, there is one very specific quest that you need to find, and this is going to be in your daily. You'll go over here to Bleak Night Fog. Now, this is a weekly time-gated event, meaning you can only do these ghost ships once a week. And let me go ahead and add a note. If you fail the ghost ship, it locks you out for the entire week. You cannot complete it. So please do this on the lowest item level you possibly can see this at 415 probably get absolutely shrecked by that boss it, it, it does slap pretty hard not gonna lie so do the lowest one you possibly can for the week unless you're an absolute g and uh, you feel pretty confident in your bug group which i never do so you have to complete this a total of 16 times 16 times you know uh, once every week it's not looking too good but there is a way to minimize this quite a lot and it doesn't really require you to spend any of your money. Um, we're going to be using an item called your Una's Daily Task Instant, uh, whatever you want to call it, Completion Pass. There we go, Completion Pass. Now, I actually do have 22 of these. Uh, these are completely free. You can get these very, very free. So when you go into your daily logins, you can get five of these right off the rip, okay? And in addition, there will be a tin pack or something of that nature coming out very soon and you can use your blue crystals for that one so um even if you don't have any blue crystals and you don't want to jet money into this game which i'm completely free to play i have not done so thus far and don't plan on doing so you can just convert your gold over via the currency exchange to however many stones you need okay so the trick is you do have to complete the weekly event one time okay so what this allows you to do each and every single day these completion passes allows you to complete this even though it's time gated to a weekly event but you have to complete it the first time but after completing your weekly event you do have to do it one time mind you you have to complete the weekly event one single time in order to do this because your unas task completion passes allows you to turn in tasks you have already completed prior so when you do this the first time this will become available you'll hit accept and then the next day you want to do this task normally you have to wait a whole week to turn this in because you know it is time to get into a weekly event right because you're locked out of ghost events and you can't do any of them when you're locked out in the week right and it is roster wide so you can't go on other characters and do this as well but what you can do is just simply use one of your uno's task completion passes and instead of waiting two whole months to do this 16 times in total you're only going to need a total of 14 of these passes because it will still take you two weeks you know one a day so you do the weekly ones and then you can do the owner's task uh, completion passes they either 14 or 15 passes uh, you guys do the math you know math hard right so that is going to limit the time all the way down from two months to two weeks now back to my point about how important this is me as a new player coming into Lost Ark, I, it was super, super aggravating having my ship destroyed and repairs and I'm wasting my time going back and then I'm waiting on these events with my friends. I get there and I can't do it because my ship's fucked up. All right. So 
it may not be the fastest ship. It is um, way up there. Uh, I forget what the base knot speed is compared to Astray, but like I said, speed is not everything. All right, it's about consistency, and this ship will definitely give you the consistency that you need. I think it's a huge quality of life and absolute must-have ship for pretty much everyone, especially new players such as myself. So hopefully my explanation on how to attain the ghost ship wasn't as clear as mud and you guys kind of understand what's going on. Now, if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments or if you want to see other content like this in the future, give me some suggestions down in the comments. This is a very new game and uh, it can go anywhere. Like I don't know what kind of content you guys like, you gotta tell me. I can just throw a toss a video out there and watch it sink to the bottom of the ship like my ship does pretty much every day waiting in the dead waters waiting on dead ion to spawn or you guys can give me a little bit of direction just so i can make the content that's more tailored for you so with all that being said guys a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat i honestly could not be doing this without you you're feeding my dog's crippling addiction to her bones i love you guys for that and if you want to help the channel support me and my dog's addiction to her bones the link is down in the description below if you want to help support me on YouTube or Discord. Discord is pretty popping. We do uh, all kinds of other MMOs like uh, Elder Scrolls Online, uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, it's pretty cool. And also the YouTube memberships, you get emojis, access to private discords, get 1v1 coaching with me. Not in Lost Ark just yet. We are delving into the PvP side of this. I'm trying to play every single class just so I know what I'm talking about when it comes to questions about any single class in this game, PvP related. I will eventually get to that point. Um, it is taking a while. You have to grind up all the characters. You know, I, I need more character slots and time is just a limiting factor. So eventually we will get to that point. We will start doing coaching sessions, one-on-ones and 3v3s. And I really want to take this to like an esports type uh, competitive. So that's just me. That's my high dreams. If you guys would be interested in something like that. Yeah, you know, stop by the store. Links down in the description. That's all I had to say, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Peace.